Hello and welcome to WePC Benchmarks. My name is Seb and today I'm taking you through the best settings for New World. For this testing we use the GTX 1050 Ti alongside the Ryzen 5 5600X. And here in the city centre we're averaging around 26 to 27 FPS. And so we can definitely improve this frame rate. Even though you will likely experience better frame rates outside of a town, it's still possible to get better performance. So we'll take you through each setting one by one with which there is a best balance of quality and performance. So taking a look at the visuals tab, we start off with window mode, which you want to set to full screen for best performance. Then resolution, you want to keep out of your native or display resolution. Brightness and contrast, adjust for your own display. And the field of view is also a personal choice. However, keep it lower for better performance, with the game having to display fewer things. The next options are for video quality, and the first is effect details, and you want to put that to high. Then it's lighting details, and that just can be set to medium. Object details are the next option and can be set to high. Post processing details you will want to set to high, but the shadow details are always the biggest hitter and you will want to set these to low, as they don't look too bad even at the lowest settings. After that we have terrain details, affecting the land around you and you will want to set that to medium. The same goes for texture and water details, these change how the textures look as well as the water specifically, along with the physics of it. After those there is show FPS which will just display your frame rate if you would like to know how well your game is running. VSync is after, and that will limit your frame rate to your display's refresh rate. This can help with screen tearing, but it's usually best to keep it off. Max FPS is the next option, and can also limit the frame rate, but to a number of your choice, which can also help with keeping performance even, but it's also best to turn it off. Player nameplate amount is next, and it changes how many will show up on your screen, ranging from 2 to 100 and it's best to keep this minimal at around 2 to keep clutter down and performance up. The last two options are for the capping your FPS in the background and that's helpful if you plan on doing other things while playing to free up your resources. And then dynamic resolution scaling which will alter the internal resolution of the game to try to maintain a frame rate but it will lower the quality so it's best to keep it off. So there you have it, the best settings for New World. With these settings, the game is now running around 35 to 36 FPS. This is an improvement of around 10 FPS, which doesn't seem much, but it is a 38% increase in performance. And it is likely this performance is reduced in towns, and so hopefully it will be much better outside. And it still doesn't make the game look awful. So hopefully you have enjoyed this video, and it has been of help. Thanks for watching, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.